Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. I don't know you from a hole in the wall, right? None of you. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what your life is. I don't know who you are. Whatever comes out, comes out. It may or may not be for you. Nobody has influenced me. Nobody. I don't listen to anybody. There ain't nobody that could tell me how to read these cards. Not for one second. That is not who I am. So I am. What do we have for a message today? And if you think otherwise, you're delusional. You gotta get, you gotta get some sort of clarification. I mean. <laughs> I get these comments from people that are seriously delusional. They think I'm being paid to say something. How delusional is that? The card, you guys see the cards come out. The message aligns with the cards. Did, the, did, did I stack the fucking deck while I was shuffling it? Did I? I planned the cards to come out like that, right? Because somebody paid me to give that message. Get your head straight. If I was here to do this just for the money, I'd be selling the fantasy like the rest of them. If I wanted to be the biggest, if I wanted to have the most followers, if I wanted to have the most subscribers, I would sell the fantasy and not be authentic. I would take the bait. I would take the money over the authenticity. There ain't nobody paying me to say anything or not. I'm going to say what I see. If you can't master your emotions, then go back to fantasy land, please. So anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Six of Wands reversed. Three of Wands. High Priestess reversed. Fool reversed, two of wands, and the three of swords reversed. Oh my God, there's so many reversals. Can't you give a positive message? This positive world out there, I mean, is, is there a lot of positive shit going on? I mean, there is, but there's a lot of negative shit too, right? Let's get real, let's be real here. Get prepared, get prepared. There's something, somebody has been waiting for something. There is going to be an arrival. We have somebody here that has listened to poor advice, right? They've been foolish. Foolish, poor advice. Uh, it's time to move on. Three of swords reverse. Three of swords reverse is moving on from those past hurts, leaving the past behind. Um, focusing on the future. We have somebody here that has been stuck. probably listen to some poor advice, right? Anyhow, uh, two of wands. Two of wands is being at that crossroads. Do I stay or do I go? Somebody has been foolish. They have been naive because they haven't been 
listening to them their own gut or they are struggling to wake up they're unaware three of wands is um, need to focus on the future right the future looks bright but you have to make a decision to do so over here we have no victory we have somebody here that is fighting a losing battle needlessly it's time to focus on the future you need to stop being foolish leave the past hurts behind stop wasting your time anyhow the two of wands is stepping into new territory I feel like we have somebody here that has been scared they have been scared they have been naive there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. The Three of Swords is leaving the past hurts behind, okay? This is making a decision, okay? This is. So we have somebody here that is at that point where they've been suffering, not listening to their gut or listening to poor advice, wasting time. It's like waiting for a loser to come back or what? The fool reversed. The fool reversed is stupid. Stupid. Somebody may be missing an opportunity. They may be missing an opportunity because they are listening to poor advice. This is a missed opportunity, poor advice. Somebody's missing an opportunity because they're listening to poor advice. At that crossroads right now. Empress reverse. Empress reverse is no growth, lack of nurturing. Infertility, a creative block. Possessive. Forceful. Not being taken care of. Somebody's not, and they're not taking care of themselves. There could be a lack of self-love here. Maybe guys, maybe we have a female or a feminine that doesn't know her value. We have somebody here that is in the process of making a decision. They may be afraid afraid uh, i don't know afraid of moving on afraid of new beginnings i mean the empress gives birth to a new life there's some sort of block here or lack of creativity or lack of growth or infertility you know there's something and it's because of some previous pain it's time to it's definitely time to move on and focus on the future mm, the empress reversed is, is uh I don't know if we have a termination here. Maybe we have somebody here that is no longer going to nurture a situation because they've been stupid. No offense or anything. Told you I was authentic. You know, because this is like stupid. I'm not going to nurture it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, make this grow because it's, it's time to move on. It's only hurting me. So we may have a woman or, I mean, I suppose it could be a man in feminine energy that is deciding, because this is a decision, to not nurture something. Maybe they're going to wait for something better. I mean, the six of wands reverse is a cocky individual. This is a one hit wonder, somebody that... Uh, thrives on competition that likes to play games right this is like a player the six of wands in reverse is a player I mean it's like the five of wands it is it's somebody that is doesn't follow through very very smug you know that really loves the competition so we do have a, a stiff competitor here this person uh, thrives on the competition and playing games. Okay, so we definitely have a player here. Three of Wands is uh, making a definite decision to 
focus on the future after listening to poor advice. Leaving the past hurts behind. Oh, definitely leaving the past hurts behind. Beginning to focus on the future. Five of Cups reverse, definitely. So this is like beginning to realize that there is another option. This is, I feel like there's been some sort of grief, maybe prolonged grief. We have, maybe we have a, a woman that didn't know her value. She's been in a lot of pain. The Empress in reverse is somebody that has been in pain. Still in pain. But with both of these reverse is, is, the, is beginning to focus on the future. This is like leaving the past hurts behind. So we definitely have somebody here that is probably at that point because the two of wands is at that point, is at that crossroads. They've got the world in their hands. This is about, I'm ready. I'm ready for a new life. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision about their new life. Maybe they've been... Uh, hurt really badly over a separation, you know, they've been naive, they've been afraid of getting hurt again, perhaps, this is definitely fearful, or they were just naive and stupid, listen to poor advice, not listening to their own gut, beginning to realize that there's another opportunity, definitely, they've been with somebody that doesn't follow through, that likes to play games and loves the competition, if you notice all the competition around, this person is like that person that has a thousand friends on Facebook, male or female or 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000. It's like the person that needs constant attention, you know. Five of cups reverse, beginning to realize. I think that we do have somebody here that is realizing something about themselves. They've been naive, they've been stupid. They may, maybe they, and if you're a masculine watching this, some of you may be with a woman that, or a feminine, and this, whatever, whatever kind of relationship you're in, there's a feminine here who isn't nurturing things, okay? She's not taking care of things. She's not nurturing things. She probably doesn't take very good care of herself. She may be, maybe she has sex without love, you know? She's very needy. She's, she needs constant attention as well. I mean, the Empress Reverse is somebody that, you know, maybe this person is, it could go so many ways. Maybe this person is in pain. Um, they're suffering. They've been hurting. This is somebody that may not know their value that has been, uh, well, it can go both ways. This woman has doesn't know her value. She's been waiting for somebody that is a player to come back. We also have a woman here that uh, isn't nurturing something anymore because she's been hurt so badly and she's been stupid, you know, and she's realizing it. If you are, where I was going with the man, if you are a masculine watching this, you're probably with a woman that um, isn't taking care of, she's not, she's not, she's not nurturing something. She's not taking care of something. She's, she doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of the family. She doesn't take care of the kids. She doesn't take care of her house. She, just, she doesn't, she doesn't make things grow. You know, she's not creative. She's, she's lazy. She cries a lot. She's needy. She's high maintenance. She may be unfaithful. Anyhow, the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords reverse is beginning to realize that there is a better option. It is leaving the past hurts behind. Somebody's been foolish. They have been foolish. They didn't listen. They didn't listen to themselves. They listened to poor advice. We may have somebody here that, that is looking for forgiveness as well. So, because these can both be cards of forgiveness. I wonder if somebody is looking for forgiveness. Maybe they hurt another person. They were foolish. They're looking for forgiveness. Anyhow, the Knight of Wands on the bottom. This is act now, think later. This is somebody that is taking swift action, fast-paced energy. This is somebody that is making a fierce approach. They're going to be doing something. They have this vision. They have this sudden desire to go after something. They're about to do something spontaneous. So there's some sort of spontaneous action that is about to be taken. This is somebody that... Um, 
is if they've been afraid and they probably may have because the fool is reversed they're letting go of their fear okay this is like uh, getting a move on all right could be dealing with aries leo sagittarius we also have taurus and libra here um lack of growth lack of nurturing focusing on something else been stupid by be been naive listen to poor advice been playing games been dealing with a player thriving on competition but but the three of wands is at the is making a definite decision to focus on the future after there's been some sort of delay delayed success Now there's been, this is like losing a battle. Somebody has, they, it's like maybe they've lost. Maybe, they, maybe they're losing a connection or they're losing, they're losing because this is losing. This is losing something. They're losing something. Maybe something of value. Maybe this empress has just decided, you know what? I'm not going to give another ounce. It hurts. Mm hmm This is act now, think later. Somebody's about to take swift action. This is like an arrival of some sort. It is. Let's get one more. This is somebody's about to step into unknown territory. They may have been afraid. Six of cups reverse. Six of cups reverse is nothing stays the same. Packing up, leaving home. Um, Freedom from obligation, something to do with the past, letting go of the past. This does have to do with the past. Somebody has been dealing with somebody in the past, holding, clinging to the past. But we do have that new beginning. We have a sudden desire. This is the growth. This is the new opportunity. This is the new vision. This is, this is uh, a new spark, a drive, uh, taking action. Somebody is, with that Knight of Wands, somebody is about to take action. This is a sudden desire for something new, for something new. So somebody is about to do something extremely spontaneous, especially with that Knight of Wands. There's been no growth where they're at. They're not being taken care of. They're, bit, they're with somebody who does not take care of them. And if you are the woman watching this, this may be you that is deciding not to uh, nurture something because you want something more fertile. You want something more uh, desirable. Anyhow, um, packing up, leaving home, nothing stays the same. Somebody's been clinging to the past. They've been, they've been uh, in a lot of pain, but this is a healing energy. The, these two cards is a healing energy. The three of swords reversed and the five of cups reversed. He's been naive making a decision at that crossroads uh, leaving the past behind is what I think this is going somewhere in a hurry leaving the past hurts behind um, this is definitely a time of growth and where somebody has been there hasn't been and that is what is sparking this sudden desire to uh, take action. So it definitely, I believe that it is action time with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, okay? So somebody's about to take swift action. They're letting go of their fear. They have been fearful. Fearful of stepping into unknown territory. Fearful of the unknown. And it's because of their past hurts or because they're clinging, they've been clinging to the past or whatever the case is. This is a time of, an, we basically have a new adventure here. Good luck.